What up guys, Malong6 here, and if you're watching this video, it's because you want to know how you can bridge some assets over from your exchange like Coinbase or Uphold or some other exchange through MetaMask into uh, the Gnosis chain so that way you can stake your hopper tokens or do whatever you want on the Gnosis chain. And the Gnosis chain used to be called the XDAI chain, which will be important later. So the first thing you're going to have to do is decide which chain you're going to use to bridge on over. I found a way and the cheapest way is going to be to use the Polygon network. So uh, in my case, I bought some Polygon and then I sent it on over to uh, my MetaMask. If you don't have a MetaMask yet, check out this video. If you need to learn how to actually send and receive coins, check out this video. Anyways, let's go ahead and continue on. Now, do keep in mind that if you're going to use Polygon, that you use an exchange that supports the Polygon network. So for Uphold here, as an example, they don't support the Polygon network. So when I try to send Polygon, I only have Ethereum network option, which means it would be deposited in my Ethereum address instead of Polygon address. And that's important because the Ethereum network is a lot more expensive to transact on than the Polygon. So what's nice is Coinbase does support the Polygon network and we can go ahead and send from Coinbase to our MetaMask. Now also keep in mind that I'm just going to be sending about $9.75. Don't worry about that. You need to worry about how much you think you need in order to stake on Hopper or whatever you're doing on the Gnosis chain. Keep in mind there will be fees. So send them maybe five to $10 more than what you are anticipating that you'll need on the actual Gnosis chain. Now do keep in mind that whichever exchange you use may take some time to actually send it. So in this case, it says pending. So you're gonna have to wait till the funds are actually received in your MetaMask before you can continue on to the next step. So another thing you may need to do is add the networks to your MetaMask if you haven't already. So by default, you already have Ethereum mainnet, but you may need to add a new network and then you can search for Polygon, but I don't always find it. So normally I just add networks manually. Here's the information for that link in the description as well. And while you're here, we're gonna have you go ahead and also add another network. We're gonna add the Gnosis chain. So here's the information for that, just so that way you're prepared for later in this video. So in my example, I'm sending Polygon. I'm not going to be using Ethereum because of the high fees. So let's go ahead and switch on over from Ethereum to Polygon. Make sure you're on the Polygon network. And then if you click activity, you should be able to see when you receive the fund. So now that we've received the funds, let's go ahead and go to our token list. You probably only have Matic, which is what Polygon used to be called. Matic's the coin, Polygon's the network now. That's how they decided to do it. Anyways, we're going to need to swap. So we need to swap from Matic to DAI, which is D-A-I. So let's go ahead and select the top one here. Proof of stake, DAI stable coins. So now what we're going to want to do is swap some of your Polygon or your Matic tokens over to DAI. Now earlier I said it's important to remember that the Gnosis chain used to be called XDAI. And that's important because you need to realize that DAI is the main coin for the Gnosis chain and not the Gnosis coin. I don't know why it's got to be so confusing, but make sure to swap to DAI and not the Gnosis coin. So you can see I have 34 Matic tokens. I'm going to go ahead and just do a small amount um, since this is an example. Let's just do five. So if for some reason it says that there's no swaps available, instead of swapping through MetaMask directly, go ahead and go to Uniswap and then swap here. Link in the description for Uniswap if you haven't used it before. So let's go ahead and swap now. So now that we've swapped, if we open up our MetaMask, it should appear after it's done pending up here. So you can see now the swap has now been executed. Let's go ahead and go to our tokens. And then if you scroll on down, if you do not see the token, click import tokens and then search for die and then next import. So now it should appear when you scroll down. Yes, it does. And that's how much we swapped for. So that's perfect. 
So now we're going to need to go over to a different website called Connects. So Connects, what it does, it allows you to bridge from pretty much any chain to another chain. Um, uh, let's see what options there actually are. So if we click bridge up here, you'll see that we can go from Ethereum, Binance, Smart Chain, a whole bunch of bridges, not every single one, but a whole bunch of them. And then you can bridge on over to uh, all of these. So in this case, we're going to say from Polygon to Gnosis. And we're going to need to send DAI from our Polygon to our Gnosis chain. If you're experiencing an issue like I am and I can't go from Polygon and for some reason there's no selection option for Gnosis, that means the liquidity pool for Gnosis is low right now. Probably this one right here. So what you'll need to do is simply come back and wait the next day. If you would like, you can also talk to their live chat and ask them for any suggestions. Before we continue on the video, I just want to let you guys know if you want to get your own uh, cryptocurrency pillow, then definitely go check out Blockcraft. Use code MATLONG6. Get a special little added bonus gift with your order if you use my code MATLONG6. Anyways, let's continue on with the Gnosis chain. So now go ahead and select that you're going from Polygon or whatever blockchain you choose to Gnosis and then select die so uh, now that we're going from die we're going to get some x die and uh, we're going to go ahead and do all of it so now we can go ahead and bridge our asset on over from polygon to nos after you confirm it will give you an estimate time for the coins to be fully bridged and a little thing up here as well so i'll be back once this is done now that it's done, let's confirm that it is indeed in our MetaMask in our Gnosis chain. So there you have it. I got 13 X die in my account on MetaMask. You can see it right here as well. Now what I'm going to show you is an extra step on if you are wanting to swap your X die for any other coin, you can do this on HoneySwap. So HoneySwap is an awesome DAP node that allows you to swap between different cryptocurrencies or tokens on the Gnosis chain. So if you want, you could swap from XDAI to, I don't know, I'm going to select Hopper because if you guys haven't seen this video of me setting up a Hopper where you can start earning rewards by running your own Hopper uh, node. So you can see here, I could select and swap all my X die. That is a bad idea, mainly because, well, you need some X die in your Gnosis chain in order to pay for gas fees. So we're not gonna do that. We're gonna swap all but maybe one because the fees are very, very cheap on the Gnosis chain. And then down here, you can select how you're gonna swap. I normally just select whatever is gonna give me the most and then swap, confirm swap. So if you already have a hopper node and you wanna deposit more into your safe so you can continue staking and whatnot, you would need to go to the wrapper because by default you have X hopper, you need wrap X hopper in order to stake. So let's go ahead and then swap it over. Confirm, go back to your dashboard, click deposit, and then type in how much you want to deposit, or in this case, I want all my hopper tokens to be staked, and then click fund, and then confirm. And now it's in your safe. Well, there you go, guys. In this video, I showed you how to get started with the Gnosis chain. If you need any more help with cryptocurrency, then please let me know in the comments down below. Maybe I'll answer your question or maybe it'll be important enough that I'll make a video on it. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, guys, stay safe, trade safe, and God bless. Peace. I like how the demo's back here and my light's not on. Man, I'm a professor professional.